Double Diamond Railroad back. Happy Saturday morning. Uh, it's like 57 degrees outside already. It's only 1130 here. Been um, raining. Got another 0.28 inch of rain yesterday. Okay, we're having technical issues. My iPhone was screwed up. All I could get was photos. No video. Had to turn it off and reboot it. There's a big iPhone release out right now, 17.1.2, I think it is. Critical emergency update. You need to get on your phones. Some vulnerabilities, security vulnerabilities. So here we go, let's try this again. I had this all running, then my wife called, then the phone acted up, all at the same time. So now we're trying to recover the loco. Cycle everything. Okay. I think I don't see any. This thing's missing. His ditch lights are missing. Must be sitting on a piece of dirt or something. Oh, in the background, you can see the MicroMark digital level. I got that yesterday. I was letting it sit here and get warmed up. It was ice cold. And I think we found we got to take out more track than what we thought. So we're going to clear all this out of the way. So I'll get a little bit of operation. And then I'll go into deconstructing the siding. See me? Oh, they're barely lit. Oh, it's because we're on. I wonder why it's doing Rule 17 on ditch lights. I didn't think that was on. And we don't know if we got dirt here or not. I tried to wipe up the best I could. That's all kind of jerky. Running slow too. Probably cold. There we go. Hasn't uh, been run for a couple weeks. Maybe three weeks by now. He's got dirt on his wheels. I'm mean, sure way to get that is alcohol. Or deoxid. The front engine just not acting right. There he goes. And what his problem is, all the track power is on. So he's going to stop. Forgot about that. Got to come back and pick up the other cars. Oh, we're hitting something. Same spot. I just heard it. Oh, we got something on the track or what's going on? Let me check that. Hold on. Okay, I don't know what's going on there. I feel something, but it's underneath. I can't see. Don't know who's causing what. Here it goes, stopping in the same spot again. I just slid it through by hand. There's little bumps, but somebody's not working right. One of them's acting up, spinning his wheel. Okay, we're back. Electronic snafu. Must have been a solar storm last night. It's all working now. We had to kill the consists and delete the locos, then re-enter the consists. 
what it was. The lead engine was going forward. The secondary engine was going reverse. They were pulling opposite. I've seen this before, but kind of hard to catch and figure out. They were pulling against each other. So electronic snafu and a controller memory. Could have been in solar storm. It was pretty strong last night. Had a KPS index over 5.67. Oh, now we hit dead spot out there. Interesting. I'm starting to wonder about my twist connector under here now. Let's see if we can get this. That's right there. So clean the points better. This is that one though. I swear the trucks are bad. I'm going to try to get some. I just ordered some axles from them. Metal wheels. 33 inch. 0 0.540 I think it is. Uh, I want to get couplers and replace these but they don't have them. So I'm going to have to see about trucks. I'll probably have to call them. They didn't even answer my email from Monday. Scale trains about the uh, Couplers coming in stock. Just bumping back. Okay. Well, I don't know if I got them. We'll try them. Take it forward. Not the way to start a Saturday, y'all. Any kind of operating. Nope, didn't get him. Kind of a bend right there. I'm gonna stop and check it. Okay, I think I got him. They don't want to play well together. Feels pretty rough. These are brand new tank cars. And I don't have the wire trip wires cut off yet. I see that. So we're going to take him out. I'm not sure where yet. Uh, I think I might want to. I'm going to leave him up around a curve on the main line. I could back him down into the yard lead, but I have to get him way back out of the way. So I think I'll back up the main line to get away from where I'm going to work. So we'll take the main switch out here. Yeah, it runs better when they're going both going the same direction. Okay, let's stop right here. And let me dim my lights over here. Okay, yeah, I had them up for working on the engines and the controller. We just back them all the way up around the main line. Get them out of here for safety. Because there's going to be ballast flying. All kinds of stuff. Whoops, separating. That's what happens when I mess with the engine. Engines. Import on the curb. That's why I want to replace those couplers. Okay, he can go 10 miles an hour, which looks faster now to me. Might be a little bit high. The more they break in, the faster they go. Send him all the way up around.
to send him out of frame while he's doing that. Switches are good. So here's a micro mark. And you basically touch it here to turn on. And there you go. There's a slope right there even. So if I put it up here, oh, I probably can't do that. Feel the power. Yeah, it didn't short it. Right there. 050 on that part. If I slide it down, and here's the break point, I think, where I'm going to end up cutting. You see, it's only 0 0.30 down there. The other side of that pin. Gotta watch our train up here. Other side of that T pin to the right is less and less. So we gotta cut in that area. There's a straight section. Straight section right there to the right of them. Right in here, we got feeders right under the corner of the, you see one under the bottom corner of the meter. So we're going to stay out away from, I'm probably going to cut like right here, right in there. I'll cut with the dikes first, then I'll go back before I join the new track, cut off with the wheel to make it clean. So we're going to cut that there. And remove all the way down all the way down because let's see where we're at right here we had some more feeders about let's see oh can't see them right now hit them really well right in here is feeders so now look at our, our 0 0.50 go up a little bit farther I think this thing needs a new battery. It had a battery in it. Probably watch batteries or something. I thought that was steeper right there. That's not bad. Yeah, I won't have to cut that far back. It's when you get 0.35. It's when you get up here. Now you see the big grade. So let's come back, see where we're at here, where it starts getting big. Point, point 0.65. So right there, it's really jumping up to get on that. I think I'd like to keep it. I got to look for a straight spot to cut. 0 0.40, starting to go uphill there. So I could cut right here and save some track. Because that would leave all my power feeds there. Cut it right here. It's just starting to go uphill. So I think I'll save myself some work. That's why I wanted to get this gauge pinpointed down a little more. I go just a little bit right. Point four five. Okay, I think I'm going to try it there and lower that whole section back there. Take all this out, road bed, ballast, or I'll soak the ballast, cut the track out, cut the road bed out. Because what I want to do now, what would be more appropriate, is have the tracks down flat like this is, not a raised road bed for that plant. And remove the road bed back here, drop the track down level, and maybe use some of this kind of cork, this flat cork right here. It's thinner than the road bed. I just had to play with it. I may have to go back there and take some height out. With the see, there's a break in the table right there. 
That's where it starts going 1.80. That's where it goes up. Hold on. Okay, you can see there's actually a hump right there. That's 1.20, but the worst was right back here. Look how high that is right there at the end. Kind of jumps up there. So that's a lot of the problem right there. If I slide down clear back here, which doesn't matter so much, you can see, see it's lower again. So there's a hump right there in the middle. Right where the joint is. It's humped up there. So I think I will come back and not cut as far. We'll come back here to where the track is still straight and somewhere right in here. Right here. We'll cut it out right there and reduce all that. But I got to allow for sloping down. Don't want it to be too steep. It's like if I lowered this side, then right there. If I bring that down, get rid of that hump, but then you got to fix the rest too. It won't be right. Better take it out back here, take it out back here and go all the way up, drop it down level. That way for trucks and things, it's down level with the ground. They can drive over it and drive over to here. We'll put a, you know, a joint compound road across there for them to go all the way over. So it's going to take some work, but maybe not too bad. 0.885, that's all. But it is a problem when the cars get chained together. It won't stay up the hill. And right where that thing is, I always have to put a pin in, keep them from rolling down. And once they start going, they'll go clear out over the switch. So that's going to be the project. We're going to start on it. Figure out where I'm going to cut. Just want to make it straight. I don't want it on a curve, a bend. Okay, there we go. Swing over here and see. Let's go see where our engines are. Okay, they're back here on the main beside the yard. I think they want to go there and get lunch. It's noon. They want to go to Bob's for lunch. So now they can. Okay, guys, take care. God bless. Have a great weekend. There'll be some good games on tonight. 4 o'clock, Georgia, Alabama. 8 o'clock, that team up north. And Iowa. Go Iowa. Go Hawkeyes. And go um, Bama. Can't believe I'm saying that. Take care. God bless. Okay, we're back with a follow-up. After 15, 20 minutes of work, we got the siding cut out up here right after the feeders uh, about two inches past the feeders so we won't have to redo that and a little just start of a bend there it'll be okay scraped it down just backed it up use alcohol 70 percent misted and you can see my mister back here it's a professional salon type mister really does good Put that down, it was ready in like seven minutes. And just went through and there's all my nails, had track nails still in it, couldn't see them. And then the cork was nailed down, this time we're gonna glue it. Well, we're not putting cork. So now we gotta, only way to do it is sand that clean, scrape it, sand it clean. And then I'll hook track up, fit the track, I have to cut some ties back, fit the track, lay it out, see how it sags out, and then start shimming with cork and styrene on the right half to get it to match up. With the left half a little bit, we got to get that left half lowered. I can see where I dug in to level that there, but then it goes uphill from there. So that's not good. So we'll 
Drop that all down, probably use flat core. Next project. We'll keep working on it as we can on the weekend here. There's your construction, deconstruction, construction update. Double diamond railroad out.